Bob is the Dean of Bass Players in Rhode Island. I never expected anything like that. I'm just a bass player. I never had a band. I was just a freelance player, which is what I wanted to be. George has done just about everything there is to do. He's a well-renowned jazz trombonist, but he's also a pianist, a songwriter, and an arranger. Well, I'm talking about George Basso. That's what I'm talking about. It's just a thrill, you know, to be recognized like this. And it's an honor. And finally, the guy who sat behind the drums and ran the band here for years and years and years, Duke Belair. The greatest thrills is, is playing, hearing a big band get right under your skin and getting that feeling that you can't give to anybody else unless they feel it themselves. That's, that's the whole thing. Always, it, it, was, it was fantastic. It really was. It's a great crowd. A lot of great people showed up. Fabulous, just like today. It was very exciting for me. I felt very honored. And, uh, you know, my whole family was there, and, and that made me feel good, too. And uh, I saw a lot of old friends. Uh, brought back a lot of nice, great memories. I have to say I was overwhelmed. It's uh, an honor. George Masso is not only a great player, he's a beautiful person. Duke Belair, our friendship goes back to early 50s. Bob Perruti has always been a student of the instrument. He knows it inside out and he deserves to be where he is. He really does. George Masso is probably one of the finest musicians in the state and he's probably one of the finest jazz trombonist in the country. He, he is a master. He really is. Bob Petteruti and Duke Belair, longtime friends and great players, and I go back a long way with both of them. I couldn't be with best, better company. Come on, those, those are giants. They are giants. I think, you know, some of the thrills, uh, first of all, was going with the Jimmy Dorsey band, and also Later on, when I went with Bobby Hackett, I did a lot of playing with Bobby, and we got to be very good friends. And there were other highlights, too. Benny Goodman, of course, and uh, the world's greatest jazz band of Yank Lawson and Bob Haggard. The greatest, the greatest influences on me were guys like Louis Belson, Gene Krupa. I was fortunate enough to come from musical parents. Both my mother and father were professional musicians. And I heard music from the time I could hear anything. And I think I would like to be known for somebody as somebody who gave back. What do you want your musical legacy to be? Well, I have a scrapbook. <laughs> and uh, Norm is taking a film here. Uh, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's no greater honor for Bob Penarudi in this state. Five, four, three.